Right then, we've walked up the hill. Oh, we we walked, finished walking up the hill earlier, but crossed the road. Found a little seat where I sat and had um, a drink of water and a Kit Kat. Took my windshield off and then I've been walking up a hill now, following the signs all the way. <sighs> it's much clear, much far clearly, more clearly outlined than it was last time I did it. I, I mean, last time I did make a deviation through a farm because the signs disappeared. But they were okay, they let me go through the farm. It was a horse farm. Um, I'm hoping that this will be marked properly when I get at the end of this little wood. Because it was after this little wood where it wasn't really marked. And um, so I just really went as the crow flies, you know. I mean, that's what you do, isn't it? Uh, they were okay, the people in the farm, they said it's all right, people do make mistakes. And I just pointed out the signs weren't very clear. And um, it would have helped if they told me to go left instead of straight on or right, you know, there was no sign at all. So I was just, I was just going on instinct, which meant, meant as the crow flies straight. I mean, because I know this place quite well, I don't bother bringing my map and compass out. That would be a different exercise to actually plot a route, which I used to do in the past when I was in the um, ACF, you know. We had to do map and compass and all that, along with skill at arms and um, field craft skills, camouflage, first aid. I was a nurse anyway. Um, yeah, we had to do loads of stuff. It was really useful, actually. Camping out at night, making your bivvy, cooking on your little stove, your army rations, getting beetles in your... Counting who had the most beetles in their sleeping bag in the morning. For some reason it attracted black beetles. If you were unlucky you'd get a snake. They would, you'd be asleep and they would just get in there. Yeah, I loved that little episode actually. I had to do it later in life because they didn't have girls when I was a child, a girl. They didn't do that. You could join the St. John's Ambulance, which I did. Scout the um, guides and brownies and that. But they didn't have you in anything to do with the services. But that changed. Um, but by the time it changed, I, I was doing other things anyway. But... Uh, yeah, that's another little chapter that's got a completely, that'll be a whole new thing to talk about that. That's um, those experiences, learning to strip and assemble SA-80s and, um, and, and machine guns and that. Skill at arms, they call it. Yes, that was all very good. I see it all as life skills, you know, like like swimming and learning to ride a horse, but you never know when you might need to. <sighs> Preparation skills. Everything's a skill, really. We, we, we learn a lot in our lives, but we can't do it all. Now, it's, I think it's when we come down here into this open space, I'm just wondering if they have actually put the signs up now. Because that's going to be very interesting. It's alright for locals, they'll know. They'll know that you go across or you go that way. But if, you know, like me last time, I was wandering all over the place. And there were cows and stuff about. They are in here normally. Not yet. Not as far as you know. I, don't know. I can see hay in the wreck. So this is it. Come here and then you don't know. And another thing is, you can't see a well-defined human footpath. Right? Now I went wandering all the way over there last time. See there's absolutely no sign. They still haven't done it. Look. Absolutely no sign. Now my instinct I went straight across 
and there were dead ends. I had to climb over different fences. But I'd, I had seen people down here because there's a lane down there. So I thought when I come today, I'll go and have a look. Oh, look. Look. Fresh. Fresh. There's something in here. Yes, there's something in here. I've got to, this is a ter this is an awful thing really then that they haven't put a label out, isn't it? See there's barbed wire fence up there. Barbed wire fence is all around there, but there's a fresh animal in here. It could be one animal. But where do you find the pass? Right? I suddenly see a bloody great bull in a minute. That was very fresh back there. But where's the way out? Right, I'm going to come back on in a minute. I've come from round the corner there. And I was already said earlier in the video that there was no sign when you come out of that little wood. I'm just zooming in on a gate up there to see if I can see a sign. There's a hayrick. No, I don't reckon there is. But I've seen people walking down here. Now I think there might only be one animal in here. It could be around the corner down there. Yeah, it's, uh, there, hold on, there's a path there. I don't want to bump right into an animal. There's an animal and I think there's just one. Look, there's a path there. Look at this pumpy bumpy. This must be mining. This, this is this is a result of an old mining area, I think. All these humps and bumps. And I don't actually mind doing this. But it just goes to show that um, there was no there's, there was no sign coming out of that wood. I never seen one. And those blue signs really stick out. Now I can actually see one now, but there was not one back there. I looked really hard. I can see one now. Which I'm a bit relieved. I'm a bit relieved now I've seen it. Because somewhere in, in here, there's, there's an animal. That was cow dung, a very, very fresh cow dung. Yeah, this is definitely old mining area. Look at this. But it's still very, very unclear, isn't it? Got a sign there, look. Very unclear. Now we're, now we're, right, you've got a sign there. So? Where's that animal? But it was a bloody bull. Look, there ain't one on the stile. Just have a look around the corner there a minute. Because they do play games with you, this West Mendip way, you know. They do play games with you. Yeah, there's a little gate there, but I can't see that animal. And it was very poorly marked again. The only reason I decided to come down here is because the last time I came down here, and I was wandering up there, I mean, I seen somebody wandering here. So I thought, well, that's probably the proper way. But like I said, there's nothing coming out of that wood. There's nothing really on this here either. That's why I'm videoing it. I carried on the video. I think it's still working. Hold on. Yeah, it's still working. I've carried on the video on purpose. It might be a bit jumpy, everyone, but that was very, very unclear there. And like I said, in the past, I went straight across. Got into all sorts of situations where I didn't know where I was. There was cows everywhere. And um, 
end up going through a farm where you're not, it wasn't really open to the public. It was a horse farm. But this looks like I'm going to come out on something that might be called Lippet Lane. I've got no idea. And look, if you look back there, not one blue sign. Unless somebody's taking them off. Vandalism. Not one sign. It'd be interesting to see if there's one. I don't even know if this is where I'm supposed to be going, right? Very badly labelled this part. You see, you could have come up through the village and not done that bit at all. That bit could have been avoided. And you're on Zoom, Sheila. Most of that will be a waste of time, what you've just done, because it was all on flipping Zoom. I still don't know if this is the right way. I haven't got a bloody clue. I think we've lost the West Mendip Way. It won't hurt though. Yeah, very, very badly labelled, I would say. This is naught out of ten, this part of the walk. I, would, I think the locals have taken the signs down. They don't want people walking here. Look, not one blue sign. See? Very badly labelled, that. Right, over and out, I'm going to take a picture.